Support the Ramen Raider on Patreon. Thanks to all our patrons. All right, hey, this is Hans coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Today we got one from the United States. This is made by Miyojo USA down in California. And this is their original flavor, Udon. So how you doing? Good I hope. So let's get this train a choo chewing. So this is the last of the one, two, three, four, five. Six things that they sent. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. They make some neat, uh, nice udon. They also make some rad refrigerated section stuff. For example, they make, so you know Miyojo Ipichan, the tray yakisoba? They make a fresh one, and it is wow. I need to, like, one of these days do, I, what I really need is, like, a zillion fresh varieties. The, the most that I've had recently are from these guys. And then there's stuff that comes from uh, companies that do mail order ones. And those are good, too, but that's not something you're going to find on your in your refrigerated section, so... Uh, room temperature water to the line microwave 1000 watts for 3 minutes and line has been found alright microwaving I will say, if you put it in a 1250-watt microwave for the three minutes at power level 70%, it comes out just perfect. Because I've kind of, over the time I've been interacting with this mic excuse me microwave found that 70 is probably a thousand watt so that works um yeah going to the movies this weekend it's late uh memorial day weekend and yeah it's a weekend to memorialize I guess you can memorialize anything. I think generally it has to do with uh, veterans and f fallen heroes of war. But I guess you could memorialize, oh, I don't know, something else. Or remember things. Memorial Day. Memory Day. Today is actually Brother's Day and uh, what's the other thing? Asparagus, National Asparagus Day. It's the 23rd. I could be wrong. It's the 23rd, 24th of May, 2024. So this is the phone that makes the music. Let's see? It's a Galaxy S9 Plus. It's my wife's old phone. She got a new phone. And let me have this one. And I carry this around quite a bit. And this is the, this is my main phone. This is my S22 Ultra with my, uh, my Biden there. That's my official endorsement, ladies and gentlemen. I'm endorsing uh, Joseph Robinette Biden to be reelected. Don't vote for the other guy. He's a big old blowhard, cranky, whiny, poopy pants. That's what I really think. And the phone that you're watching me with right now is a Galaxy S20 Ultra. This one's a 22 Ultra. That one's a 20 Ultra. 
And I gotta say, the cameras in these things are so freaking good. I used to carry around a little digital camera with me. There's just no point. The cameras in these are what way better than any digital camera I ever had. Uh, the one that I use to take pictures of the packaging and stuff like that. You know, honestly, I could probably take this phone, put it in the same situation. It would do just fine, except for the fact that that one, when I take a picture with it, I can, I can set it up. I can see the viewfinder on my computer screen. And when I take a shot, it goes directly into a folder on the desktop. So it's like, yeah. I'm guessing you could probably do that with these. I really don't know. And there's no point in changing my, my setup. But I've had the DSLR that's above my computer. Gosh. Years. Years and years. Years and years and years. Gosh, maybe even... I got it when we lived here. And we moved here in 2015. So I'm going to... Yeah, I think, I think I got that camera in 2015. Never had a single problem with it. And that's mainly because I don't take it out of the house. I've, I've tried using it to take fancy pictures and stuff. I just have it basically set on a copy stand and it takes pictures and that's good enough for me. Here's our noodle. I'm getting kind of a, a sweet Benito kind of thing going on here. It's not bad. It's not my favorite style of, you know. I will admit that udon is not my favorite thing in the world, but the, the stuff these guys make is pretty darn top notch. It's not a matter of like, is it good quality or not? This is good quality. It's more of a matter of personal preference. I've just never really been a big udon guy. There was a brand that made a uh, garlic, garlic something, garlic cheese udon. That was really good. Let's see how this goes. I'm really curious. I don't think I usually use a bowl like this for udon photography. Maybe I did in the past. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this kind of more traditionally. We're gonna add that. Be nice if it were, uh, oh, what do you call it? Like a tempura done up prawn. That'd be groovy. I'm gonna add this in. Where do you go? Where do I put you? You know, I've been noticing that today and you can go over here. What are you noticing, Ramen Raider guy? Well, I'll show you. Add some spring onion there. What I'm gonna use is a bunch of this and then slap some udon on, or a Naruto on top. I think that's good. I don't really want to go much further with this. But it's got flower foo. You like the flower foo? There you go. Thank you. 
All right, thanks for watching. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every freaking day. Yeah, have a good one. Bye bye.